woke up in some new punani. Yeah, he woke up bleeding like who shot me. Hey, what is going on guys? Sports 15 here, and today we have another episode of Miami Dolphins Owner Mode here in Madden 25. So we're taking on the Atlanta Falcons here in week three of the regular season. Um, we are one and one after our week one victory and then the week two loss, and uh, we're taking on the two and oh uh, Atlanta Falcons so it should be a good game here we're gonna get into the coin toss in just a second one thing that I had to point out is that the video is a little bit longer it's 15 minutes well 15 and a half minutes um, I have a few it was pretty much uh, 18 minutes 18 to 19 minutes whenever I finished editing it and then I spent an extra like 20 minutes trying to cut it up trying to find which plays I didn't really need and uh, taking a little bit off of each play so I really tried to shorten it up this is as short as I can get it and um, for the next episode for the stat line at the end I have a way to shorten it up so it shouldn't be this long at any point further than this and uh, it shouldn't be too long if you don't want to watch the stats it'll only be like 13 to 14 minutes so here we go taking on Matty Ice here you can see his stats through the first two weeks uh, he got that first down to start it and they're already at about half and uh, they're gonna run this ball with Steven Action Jackson he breaks like three tackles there but luckily Rashid Marshall brings him down at about the 16 yard line uh, to hold him away from the end zone so second and six here play action and they're gonna find Julio Jones in the left side of the end zone and they take the early lead on their first drive they have a very high powered offense and it's gonna be tough for us to stop it even with how good our defense has been so far um, it's gonna be tough to stop them so we're gonna need to uh, have a good offensive day as well so we're gonna find Brian Hartline over the right side on the out route so here we go first and ten Lamar Miller getting some blocks on the run to the right side he's gonna get one more block that's all he needed and with his 95 speed in Madden he is going to get all the way to the end zone with that explosive touchdown that's what we've been looking for him from him all season long and uh, we haven't really got it until this point and that was a nice explosive run that's what that's the type of running back he is actually in real life uh, he has a lot of speed and he should be able to get those big runs in there so in the flat there they would find uh, Rodgers and uh, he, they we couldn't make the tackle so we did get the first down right here we're gonna sack Matty Ice in the backfield so uh, they have second and five here Matt Ryan dropping back he's gonna find Julio Jones over the middle for another first first down and as I said before these guys have a very high powered offense we got to watch out for that Matt Ryan dropping back he's gonna get sacked for the second time on this drive and that one was a really nice one by Cameron Wake one of the best defensive ends in the game you can see third and 18 for Matt Ryan he's gonna throw this one to Tony Gonzalez he's gonna catch it and he's gonna get about seven yards but not good enough for the for the first first down so fourth and eighth they're going to kick the field goal they take the three point lead here in the second quarter one thing that i do have to note is that i increased the time of the quarters to eight minutes so it's a four minute longer game in total um i think it's a little bit too long i might bump it back down to seven minutes which i think was a little bit more realistic so i might be doing that uh, let me know what you guys think about that so you can see lamar miller only his second rush on the day for about 70 yards already so we're going to find to Dustin Keller there gets the ankle tackle after he makes that 26 yard reception so a uh, second down and second and goal sorry uh, Ryan Tannehill is going to get sacked by Thomas DeCloud and that will uh, put us back about five yards so fir first and ten sorry fourth and goal um, on the 10 yard line and uh, we're going to knock down this field goal and that'll tie up the game here with about three minutes left in the second quarter Matt Ryan dropping back nearly gets sacked thrown off the back foot finds white and that will get them the first down and about 19 yards more so second and nine here uh, Matt Ryan in the I formation he's going to drop back he's going to find Rodney White again he breaks two tackles and he is is gone and that is something that uh, I'm new to all Madden I think this either last game or this game I recorded a bunch so either last game or this game it was on all Madden I switched it I think week one was on all pro but uh, here in uh, week three we we're on all Madden and um, they really break a lot of tackles so we're gonna get him on the curl route there 
So Ryan Tannehill, he's going to be under center for first and 10. He's going to look around, dropping way back in the pocket. He's going to throw this one over to the right side. Moore picks this one off. And because I threw it off my back foot, um, the throw was very, very, very inaccurate. It was about a mile off of the target. So uh, Matty Ice back on offense. He's going to throw off his back foot, but he's a much better quarterback than Ryan Tannehill. So he can create those passes and complete them uh, for that first down. So second and five here um, in the red zone 17 yard line they're going to throw this one over to julio jones keeps the feet in bounds and uh, they are on the four yard line first and goal right here in the uh, they're going to drop back with Matty Ice. He's going to throw this one over the middle to Rodney White, and that is going to be a touchdown. They take the 14-point lead here only in the second quarter, but uh, here, next play after that, they're going to kick this one off to Marcus Thigpen. He's going to run to the left side. He gets some blocks. All the defenders are falling over one more block, and that will be good for his second kick return touchdown of the season. That cuts the lead in half down to a seven point lead after the point after touchdown but a nice explosive run by Marcus Thigpen he's had a good season so far mainly on the uh, kick return he's the third string running back so he really hasn't been getting any touches there uh, it's just pretty much been Lamar Miller and then a little bit of Daniel Thomas but uh, they're gonna let the clock run out here so we head into the half with a seven. Well, we're down seven points to the Atlanta Falcons, which is a very good, good half because uh, these guys are one of the top teams in the league. They uh, finished well. They lost in the uh, semifinals last year. I forget what was it. What is it called? My bad. But uh, conference championships, but uh, AFC championships or something. I don't even know. But uh, you can see halftime stats. We are down seven points, and they're leading in every stat category except for rushing yards because Lamar Miller's having a day here so on the third play of the first half second half sorry uh, we're gonna throw a second pick with Ryan Tannehill so um, they get the ball really close to the end zone they're gonna hand this one off to Steven Jackson he's gonna get popped right near the goal line fumbles it but then Rodney White picks it up and takes it into the end zone so some bad luck there um, we Deserved to give up the first down, but not to not to give up that uh, touchdown. But next play, after we got the ball back, Lamar Miller with another explosive run. His second touchdown of the day, and both of them were like 50-plus yards. So Lamar Miller having a field day here against the Atlantic Falcons defense. So Matt Ryan gets the ball back. Third and five, he's going to throw this one over the middle on the slant play. And right here, it goes back to a measure. Um, and this is the first time in the game that uh, it was a measure. But here, you can see it is just barely short. So they would have fourth and inches. They did kick it away right here um, where they're going to kick it away to Marcus Thigpen, who is back. He's our number one kick returner and punt returner. And he's had a, been a good season. So we're going to return this one with Thigpen. He's going to take it out at the 40 um, he's gonna get to the 50 beat that guy cuts the inside and he gets brought down at about the 36 37 or something so uh, third and nine here Ryan Tannehill play action play he's gonna look to the right side and he's gonna find Agnew for his second catch of the day for 34 yards that'll get us the first down so second and ten Ryan Tannehill he's gonna find Mike Wallace who drops it but more importantly Mike Wallace goes down injured and that is not what you like to see now our number one receiver is Brian Hartline and that's something that you really can't have to compete for a playoff spot so right here it goes back to another measure second one of the game but this time it is going in our favor and um we do get the first down so here we're gonna hand this one off to lamar miller breaks a couple tackles and he has his third touchdown of the day lamar miller having a great game bud and um that will tie the score up at 31 apiece so they get the ball back with some good field position 35 yard line and right here on third and five they're gonna run it with steven jackson he gets stopped for only a three-yard gain so they would have to punt it away so we get the ball third and three Tannehill looking he's gonna find Brandon Gibson who deeks out of one tackle and gets brought down at about the 42 yard line nothing else happened after that we had to settle for the field goal and that's good because we there's only about five minutes left and if we can get a stop here we can uh, run the ball quite a bit and uh, we can 
win this game, and especially since the the great day that uh, Lamar Miller's having. So third and two here on their own 28 after they did get the ball back. Steven Jackson breaking a couple tackles there, and he's going to get brought down at his own 45-yard line. So uh, first and 10 for them. Matt Ryan dropping back, and he is going to get sacked. I think that's the third sack of the day for our team. Um, we're having a very good, good day with the sacks. Um, Randy Starks gets his first of the season there. So second and 17 after the sack. They're going to throw this one over the middle to Rodney White. He has increased his uh, yards to 108 yards uh, so far in this game. So third and three. Big stop coming up. Let's go. Matt Ryan looking over the right side. He's going to throw a pick to Grimes. Keeps the feet in bounds. And he has some running room. He's going to get down to the 30-yard line. But uh, it did go to a review coming up right here. Um, I guess they, they called their uh, challenge flag. Uh, so you can see that uh, Joe Philbin is really hoping that he kept his feet in bounds. It looked like it on the replay. You can really tell that he did keep both feet in bounds, gets both feet down, and then he would take it back to about the 30-yard line. And uh, after review, the ruling on the field is upheld, and we get the ball at the 30 yard line with about 20 sec two minutes left sorry uh so we need to run the ball here second and six lamar miller bounces to the outside on this stretch play luckily for the falcons he would go out of bounds so the clock would stop but uh right here third and goal on the uh, four yard line this one's going to daniel thomas he's a third down running back and he cannot get the touchdown on that pitch play so uh fourth down i decided to go for it because another field goal really wouldn't do us much uh it would just give us a chance to uh, make them go for the touchdown but uh, we do not get it here on another pitch play pitch plays really don't work so uh we would have they would get the ball but luckily they had to go 99 yards so second and seven here Tony Gonzalez is going to catch this one over the middle that would give them third and one right here we can get a big stop and force them to a fourth down so right here Matt Ryan dropping back he's going to find Julio Jones who gets the ankle tackle and he would have been gone if we didn't get that ankle tackle but right here first and 15 we get the sack so they have fourth and 23 now Big stop coming up. Everybody's dropping back in coverage. They're going four verticals, and he's going to have a clutch throw to Tony Gonzalez. That would get them down to almost midfield. So Matt Ryan looking over the middle. He's going to find Tony Gonzalez once again. He's been money on this drive. So now they are on our 44-yard line. They're going to attempt this field goal with 13 seconds left, and uh, it's a pretty long field goal. They're going to attempt it. It's nowhere close. Marcus Thigpen is back to return it. Probably should have kneeled it there, but he's going to take it out. He gets to the 21-yard line. Three seconds left, and this is your ball game. We kneel it out, and we beat one of the best teams in the NFL, the Atlanta Falcons, in this 34-31 victory. So it was a great game, very entertaining, lots of good plays on offense. Um, and there was three total picks, so very good game for the Dolphins. Matt Ryan obviously not happy about how his team played and uh, how many points they gave up to not such a good offense in the Dolphins, especially once we lose Mike Wallace. One more thing is Mike Wallace is going to be out for five weeks with an abdominal tear so in the next episode i'm probably going to be making some moves to get a wide receiver to add into the mix either by free agency which most likely is going to be by free agency or by trade uh so leave some suggestions if you guys want me to trade for some specific wide receiver so if you guys want to stick around for the box scores and everything ryan Tannehill did not have a good game he had 47.2 qb rating but uh lamar miller did get player of the game with 172 yards on the ground a great performance for Lamar Miller, making up for the uh, lack of performance in the first few games of the season. So that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. Tune in next time uh, for week four action, and we're 2-1, and one, so we're hopefully on the way to a playoff berth. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.